Hello, welcome to Vlogmas. If this is your first time joining us, thank you very much for being here. My name is Megan Dorman. I am a functional nutritional therapy practitioner and wellness coach in St. Pete. This is my lovely assistant and daughter, Avery. And tonight we are going to make for you perfect stovetop popcorn. If you only ever microwave it, you're missing out. Homemade is so much better for you and tasting, and I swear it's easy. So all you need is a couple of ingredients. I actually use a mixture of both coconut oil and either butter or ghee. I happen to like the flavor of ghee and it stays melted in my cupboard. This is from Trader Joe's. Um, so it stays pretty liquefied. Gosh, that light is bright. Um, because the butter step goes at the very end. So if you don't have something that's already liquefied, then you will have to take the extra step to melt it and ghee just stays melted for me, so I get to skip that part. So, but the coconut oil is what we're gonna actually fry the popcorn in. Um, and then you'll need some organic uh, kernels. I think you can get this at any grocery store. These, I think I got at Publix. And then for your toppings at the end, you can flavor it however you want. Nutritional yeast is what I like on mine. Eric and the kids can taste it and they don't like it. Um, but this actually is kind of like a, like a cheesy flavor and it's full of B vitamins. So I find nutritional yeast to be very delicious on vegetables. I use it in all kinds of sauces. It just gives like a cheesy flavor without being dairy based. Um, so that goes on mine. And then the kids really like having some chocolate mixed into theirs. And the Trader Joe's candy pieces um, don't have any artificial colors or flavors added to them. They are naturally colored with um, vegetable extracts. So off we go. Our first step is that we have to heat up the coconut oil. So Avery, can you go light the burner and get that up to temp? Why did I just jump down? I think Here, I'll do it. Okay. We gotta keep it moving and watch your wrist. All right, so I'm gonna put this, my burner goes like eight, six, four, two, you know, like so yours might say low, medium, medium high or whatever. I'm gonna put this at about a six, maybe between a six and an eight, it's so like medium to medium high. You don't wanna burn the popcorn, so, but it, the lower you put it at, the longer it'll take to come up to temp, so. It always burns the popcorn. No, that's the beauty of this technique, is that it literally never burns. I know, but Dad did. Oh, Dad burned it a couple times. That's because he didn't use our right technique. Yeah. All right, so I'm putting- I have to a, teach it to him. I'm putting two tablespoons of coconut oil in the pan. Wait. And then right away, if we get our tester kernels out. I need three, right? Yep, three tester kernels. I got a black one. You put them in right away with the coconut oil. Can I put them in now? Yep, go for it. Oh. <laughs> All right, three tester kernels go in with the coconut oil, and then we're just going to let it sit there until it comes up to temp. And the way you will know it comes up to temp is when your tester kernels pop and as soon as that happens then we're gonna go ahead and add all the others so I generally will put in a third of a cup but there's so much of kernels bag. can we just finish the whole bag no that will make so much the volume like the little seeds when they balloon up to be actual popcorn it's so huge so this does not look like that many kernels but I promise you it's more than enough for our family of four so you could do a half cup if you want but we're gonna put in a third of a cup of kernels and then as soon as I put those in, then I'll put the lid on top. The trick to the lid is that you want it to just be like slightly ajar so that the steam doesn't make the popcorn soggy. You still want it to be nice and crispy. So you want it to cover so they don't pop all, all over your kitchen, but you want it to be like just slightly off so some of the steam can escape and keep the popcorn crunchy. So basically so. like this is the pan, this is the lid? Yeah. You'll see, it'll just be off kilter just a little bit. All right, so we're gonna see how long it takes for this to come up to temp for our three tester kernels to pop. Whoop! We got a popper. We got a popper. Whoop! There's two. There's our third one. All right. All right, we're gonna put a third of a cup in here now. You want to do it? Here. You disappeared. I don't know where you went. Can you put it in without burning yourself? Good deal. And then we will put the lid on. Shake it around to get all those kernels coated with the coconut oil. And then like I said, I'm just going to pull this off just slightly so that the steam can come out, but it's still protecting it for when the kernels start popping. So here we go. 
Şek 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 sınıyorlar. All right, it's slowing down. When it slows down to like two to three seconds between pops, that's when we're gonna pull it off the heat. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000. All right, let's call that good. I'll turn the heat off, shake it around a little bit. Okay, because this tail end here, this is where it can start to burn if you're not careful. All right, so far so good. Now's where I'm gonna pour the butter on top. Will you open the jar for me, babe? Cool. Whoa, a kernel just flew out and shot the camera. All right, so we're just gonna pour this, however much butter you think is appropriate. All right, and now we're gonna, can you grate the salt on top? Smell it to the salt. It's around here somewhere. Yay, we found it. Drop it again. Drop it again. All right, we'll rinse it off. Okay. All right. All right. There you have it. Beautiful, buttery, perfect, perfect popcorn. popcorn. No burned pieces. Buttery, salted coconut oil. All healthy ingredients. We made it at home in uh, seven minutes. Is how long it took. So I'm gonna put nutritional yeast on mine. I'm gonna mix in some uh, chocolate pieces for everybody else, and off we go. Say goodnight to the people. Good night and goodbye. Good night, people. See you tomorrow. <laughs>